Hello, this is Stan from Multilogin App. In this video, we will be discussing Vulnerable Browser Plugin Lockout, which is a feature in Multilogin App. We will first talk about plugin fingerprinting and then see how to avoid it using Multilogin App. Now, when we talk about plugins, we do not mean extensions or add ons. Exten extensions and add ons are executed within the browser processing space and can be downloaded from the browser markets. In comparison, Plugins typically come pre-installed with your browsers and already and have less access restrictions to your PC. And some of them can even run as a separate system process. And this leads to all kinds of vulnerabilities. You can see an available list of plugins by going to the settings of your browsers. In Chrome, we can see them by going to Chrome colon double slash plugins and in Firefox by going to about colon plugins. These plugins can be used by websites to fingerprint your identity. So how can websites accomplish this? It basically comes down to two ways. The first way is when a website uses the list of your plugin names as a footprint. Alright, let me explain. Using a simple JavaScript command, websites can easily log a list of popular plugins by directly querying each individual plugin name one by one. This way, this way the website can enumerate some of your plugins, log the, list full, log the full list of them, and then use it to better identify you. By going to Multilogin app and turning on Vulnerable Browser Plugin Lockout feature, all plugins will be automatically disabled when you launch a browser profile. This completely eliminates any fingerprinting done by plugins. The second way how plugin fingerprinting works is by exploiting plugins to retrieve information about your system. The most vulnerable ones are Adobe Flash and WebRTC. Websites can utilize Flash plugin to detect a lot of information about your PC from file tree structure, operating system to real IP address. This is why it's always good to have disabled Flash in all of your browser profiles. However, if you're accessing a website that requires Flash to display some website content, you have the option to turn Disable Flash off. Another elusive plugin is WebRTC. Basically, WebRTC is a collection of communication protocols that allows getting real-time information from your browser. If websites are sneaky enough, they can exploit the plugin to retrieve the local IP address and other information. For example, if you're using a proxy and have, have WebRTC enabled, in this case the website may find, find that the IP address does not match the one that they retrieve from the WebRTC plugin. This inconsistency can cause the website to suspect you of unusual activity and throw a red flag. By having WebRTC disabled in your browser profiles, you secure yourself from websites that want to retrieve this information from you. The feature also feeds the private IP address into the WebRTC plugin where it's possible, and this way it doesn't look like WebRTC is disabled completely. By the way, you can turn WebRTC on if you are not using any proxies or VPNs, because WebRTC will not yield any inconsistencies anyway. To recap, plugins can be notoriously dangerous to your anonymity on the internet. First of all, web platforms may retrieve a list of your plugins and then use it as a footprint. Secondly, some plugins like Flash and WebRTC can even be exploited to retrieve your system information. We highly recommend turning all features of vulnerable browser plugin lockout on all of your browser profiles. This has been Stan. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any more questions, please post them in the comment section or send us a ticket through support. See ya!